Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you a pattern for uh, the triad major and minor chords with sharps and flats in its key signature. So basically everybody knows that a major chord on the bass clef read on the treble clef becomes its minor, right? A uh, triad chord. However, did you know that if you were to read the major chords with sharps in them, on the bass clef and turn it upside down and read it on bass clef with the sharps instead of flats, um, you would have the major sharps become the minor flat scales read upside down, and then the minor sharps become the major flat scales uh, read upside down on the bass clef. So for instance, um, the numbers uh, tell you like how many sharps or flats are in a scale, right? So this would be your G major, right? G, B, D. And then it's minor, E, G, B, right? But if you were to turn it around and read it upside down, so here we go, this would be the major right here for F major, F, A, C, and then this would be the minor, D minor, D, F, A, right? So, and then also, if you read the sharps as flats and flats and sharps, they match as well. Uh, for instance, uh, so the filled in notes are the ones that are sharp or flat, right? So let's try uh, maybe uh, e, e major, so E, G sharp, B, right? So there's your E uh, major chord, and then C sharp, E, G sharp, right? So if we turn it around to read it as A major, which is, uh, a flat and then C and then E flat. Um, so these would become flat. Um, and then we have your F A flat and C, right? So this would be F A flat C and then A flat C and E flat, right? But if we turn it around to read it upside down and we change this to a flat, or, oh, to a sharp, I mean, to a sharp, uh, then you get your E, G sharp, B. And then, of course, these two flats would be changed into a sharp, you know, for uh, your uh, C sharp, E, and G sharp, C sharp and G sharp, right? Let's do another one since I boofed that one up. Um, all right, so how about we do... Uh, B major, so B, D sharp, and F sharp, right? B, D sharp, and F sharp, right? And then its minor is G sharp, B, D sharp. So these two right there, right? So those two are sharps. But if we return it around, and now we're going to read it as your D flat major would be, so we get rid of these sharps, and we read them as flats instead. Check it out, it matches D flat, F, and A flat, right, for the major. And then, I bet you, the bottom two notes are going to have a flat in them, right? Oh, check it out. Yes, we just need to change them to flats. There you go. So, there's your B flat, D flat, and F, um, which is the minor of D flat major. <clears throat> and the same holds true for, like, all the uh, chords here, basically. Uh, a major scale uh, with sharps uh, read on the bass clef upside down will become its uh, the minor chord with the same number of flats as there were sharps in its key signature, uh, and then vice versa for that pattern. So there you have it, folks. Another swanky music pattern. Oh, and also... Um, what, what also really helps uh, for the minor chords is uh, it's always... The middle note is always uh, the note of its corresponding major chord. So, like this, C for C major, G for G major, D for D major, A, E, you know, B, and F sharp, and then C sharp. So, um, we, we, got, we got the major notes there. So, that's kind of a cheat way to do it, too. So, yeah. Have a dandy one, everyone.